We start the evening tonight with breaking news out of Delaware, with President Joe Biden announcing he will not be seeking re-election for president. He will focus his duties as president for the remaining few months. Looking forward, he is endorsing Vice President Kamala Harris to be the party's nominee. We're going to bring you reactions from our leaders throughout West Virginia. But first, we want to give you a wide view of the situation. With more, here's Perry Russom. President Biden dropping out of the race for president, releasing a statement that reads in part, I believe it is in the best interest of my party and the country for me to stand down and to focus solely on fulfilling my duties as president for the remainder of my term. Biden exits the race amid growing calls from lawmakers for him to step aside. Democrat turned independent Senator Joe Manchin this morning. It's time. It's just time to a new generation to come in. Biden's candidacy began to unravel nearly one month ago at the first presidential debate with former President Trump. He's, this guy told Ukraine, told Trump, do whatever you want and do whatever you want. Days later, Biden telling ABC's George Stephanopoulos only divine intervention could get him to leave the race. With the friends of and if the Lord Almighty comes out and tells me that, I might do that. Biden remained steadfast on the campaign trail. If you're going to drop out, what you going to do? Well, here's my answer. I am running and going to win again. This is the first time an incumbent president has dropped out since 1968 when President Lyndon Baines Johnson stepped aside. Biden is now endorsing his vice president, Kamala Harris, who was 22 years younger than Biden. The president writing, Today I want to offer my full support and endorsement for Kamala to be the nominee of our party this year. Democrats, it's time to come together and beat Trump. Let's do this. Harris does not automatically become the Democratic nominee. The process to choose a ticket remains murky, and it's not clear if other Democrats will challenge Harris. Democratic National Committee Chairman Jamie Harrison saying, in short order, the American people will hear from the Democratic Party on next steps and the path forward for the nomination process. Trump's campaign team is already narrowing attacks on Harris. Donald Trump Jr. calling Harris more liberal and less competent than Biden. We are waiting to see when President Biden will address the nation. He has been at his vacation home in Rehoboth Beach, recovering from COVID. Perry Russell, ABC News, Washington. And Vice President Harris releasing a statement shortly after President Biden's decision. Choosing Harris as vice president was Biden's first act as nominee back in 2020. Now she is the heavy favor to emerge from next month's convention as the party's nominee. However, there are still details about what that nomination process will look like and whether or not she will be challenged. Harris indicating today in a statement just into our newsroom that she intends to seek the nomination. Her statement reads in part, quote, with this selfless and patriotic act, President Biden is doing what he has done throughout his life of service putting the American people and our country above everything else. I am honored to have the president's endorsement and I intend to earn and win this nomination, end quote. Harris says that she will continue to campaign around the country in the coming weeks. And former President Trump, just a week from the attempt on his life, saying Biden was never fit to run for office. Biden's performance at his first debate with former President Trump kicked off the chain of events. That eventually led him to step down from the re his re-election campaign. Trump saying that America is worse off because of Biden's presidency and the people surrounding him knew that he wasn't fit. That statement reading in part, quote, we will suffer greatly because of his presidency but we will remedy the damage he has done very quickly, make America great again, end quote. We wanna make this story a bit more local now and bring in some reactions from our local elected officials and party leaders. West Virginia Democratic Party has released a statement this afternoon thanking President Biden for his service to his country. Chair Mike Pushkin said in part quote, President Joe Biden's decision to step away from his re-election campaign demonstrates a level of integrity and respect for democracy that is all too rare in today's political climate, end quote. The announcement coming after West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin went on CNN's State of the Union today, urging the president to drop out and protect his legacy. 
Here's a snippet of those comments earlier today. So I came to the decision with a heavy heart that I think it's time to pass the torch to a new generation. I believe that he has a chance, an opportunity, to finish the five months of his, of his presidency with the way he has always, uh, you know, basically overseen his office, whether it be a senator or as president, wanting to be that uniter, bringing us together, being able to bring peace to the Middle East, being able to support Ukraine in their fight for freedom, and also being able to show the whole world have a transfer of power. And more reactions flooding in tonight from West Virginia's congressional delegation. Representative Carol Miller saying, quote, Joe Biden has admitted what Americans have known for years. He is not fit to be president of the United States. We need a commander in chief who can handle domestic and global adversity, not a puppet of the far left advisors. America needs President Trump back in the White House, end quote. We heard tonight from both nominees for governor in West Virginia. Steve Williams, the Democratic nominee, says it shows Biden's commitment to the American people. And that gives Democrats a chance to pick a candidate that understands what the people of West Virginia need. The statement reads in part, quote, the American people deserve a general election campaign that addresses the significant challenges our nation faces free from the distractions that have recently dominated the presidential campaign. And it is more crucial than ever for the U.S. for us to have a Democratic presidential ticket who truly understands and prioritizes un the unique needs of West Virginia and other rural states." End quote. We are also hearing back from Patrick Morrissey tonight, the Republican nominee for governor of West Virginia. He says Biden's decision to step down doesn't change anything and that he still supports Trump. That statement reads in part, quote, the Democrats' party system is rigged. Just imagine what the media would say if Republicans completely bypassed the will of the people and installed their candidate as the nominee. The hashtag Trump Vance 2024 ticket is the only ticket which will fight to preserve our Constitution our freedoms and our way of life and our democratic ideals, end quote. And in a lead up to President Biden's decision today, Republicans from around the country have indicated that they wouldn't challenge the Democratic Party's attempts to replace Biden on the general election ballot. One of the most high profile Republicans, Speaker Mike Johnson, joined CNN this morning saying that some state's Democrats could have issues getting its presumptive nominee on the ballot. Here's what he had to say. Look, I'm a former litigator, you know, a constitutional law attorney. I just made note in some uh, comments over the last week that they have real problems. I mean, every state has their own election system. That's that's our constitutional uh, system. That's the way it's done. And in some of these states, it's a real hurdle. They have a real problem of replacing the nominee at the top of the ticket. Remember, Jake, I mean, Joe Biden was chosen after a long, small d democratic process by 14 million people uh, emerging through that primary. It will be very interesting to see if if the so-called party of democracy, the Democrats, go into a back room somewhere and switch it out and put someone else at the top of the ticket. I mean, I, I think they've got legal hurdles in some of these states uh, and it'll be litigated, I, I would expect, on the ground there and um, they'll have to sort through that. They've got a real problem. Based on current election law, Democrats should be able to get their nominee on the West Virginia ballot by November. State law says that four parties get an automatic ballot access in the state. The Libertarian Party, the Mountain Party, the Republican Party, and Democratic Party. According to West Virginia Secretary of State's Guide, presidential nominees for each party are determined by primary election, convention, and any other means of selection as determined by party rules. We have not gotten definitive answers on what this will look like from the West Virginia Secretary of State's office, but we keep tracking this piece of, develop of this developing story. Going across the border to our neighbors in Virginia, Senator Mark Warner, one of the senators linked in the efforts to convince Biden to step down last week, has issued a statement. He thanks President Biden for his service to the country and is applauding his decision to do what he, he feels right for the country. That statement reads in part, quote, President Biden has made historic contributions to our nation. 
His love of country and loyalty to the American people has been unwavering. He will undoubtedly go down in the history books as a true American patriot. After all he's done, I respect President Biden's difficult decision to step aside this upcoming election, and I look forward to hearing more from him later this week. While there has to be an orderly process and the decision ultimately rests in the hands of the DNC delegates, I believe Vice President Harris has the experience, energy, and resolve to lead our nation, end quote. This is the first time that a sitting president has ever stepped down from the general election campaign. And it's the first time since 1968 that a president decided not to seek a second term in an office. You have to go all the way back to 1968 when Lyndon B. Johnson chose not to run for a second term in office due to his low polling numbers. Here's a brief snippet of his announcement years ago. I shall not seek and I will not accept the nomination of my party for another term as your president. We will continue to track this historic moment in the coming days and weeks. President Biden says he will address the nation in the coming days. We have more news about, the Biden, about Biden stepping down as we are on air. The re-election committee for the Biden campaign has renamed Harris for president, transferring it to Harris's new campaign. This puts her in charge of $96 million in the campaign cash that was originally donated to Biden. Additionally, we are learning that the Tennessee Democratic Party is pledging its 77 electors to, the Kamala, to Kamala Harris, according to Reuters. Meanwhile, the Democratic Party is reporting that a surge in donation to Harris in the wake of Biden's announcement. We will keep tracking this as more information becomes available. Again, we come back with new information about, Biden's, about Biden stepping down. Governor Jim Justice has released a statement. He says in part, quote, the only nominee worse than Joe Biden is Kamala Harris because together their administration led our country to chaos that we currently face. Kamala Harris will continue four more years of Biden-Harris agenda of energy dependency, economic failure, rising crime, and a dangerous southern border, end quote. We will continue to track this as more information becomes available. West Virginia Senator Joe Manchin is reportedly thinking about running for the Democratic nomination for president. That would be a major shift for Manchin. He left the Democratic Party two months ago and declared himself an independent. Last year, when Manchin was still a Democrat, he decided he would not run again for his Senate seat. But sources close to the two-term senator tell CNN he might re-register as a Democrat and run for president. Now that President Biden has stepped aside.